What's up, guys? Welcome to NBTV Canes. All Canes all day. If you rock it with the UD, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on the video. Listen, I gotta, I gotta let everybody know, man. The national media, everybody knows the national media. They don't rock with us, right? It's the University of Miami. It's the U versus the world because the national media, they don't rock with us. But they want to use us in the same sense. Let's talk about it, man. Around this time every year, football starts to get a little slower, right? The games aren't getting played at a high clip. If there's not a news story, this is around the time that they want to use the Miami Hurricanes fan base, right? And I see it all the time. And today I said, damn it, we got to make a video so I can put everybody on game. Now, if you're somebody who's on Twitter, you're on social media, you're on Instagram, I'm talking to you. If you're somebody who's not on there, you just watch the YouTube videos, then okay, then then okay. Then, you know, you just watch the video, like and subscribe, but maybe, maybe you can learn something too. But I say the national media, they don't want us to win. They're already salty that we win and took Oregon uh, head coach Mario Cristobal, that we took Clemson's uh, AD. They're already salty that we're getting money. Now they're trying to say that the money's coming from the health care and blase, blase. Listen, they, they jealous. But at the same time, they want your clicks and impressions. And how do they do that? Is this time they all around this time they always bring up the 2001 Miami Hurricanes team, and I'm sick of it. Listen, it's not gonna change. The 2001 Miami Hurricanes team was the best team ever assembled, and you could possibly say the 2000 team was just as good. But anybody else, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about Nebraska. You know, I I talked about the LSU team because that team was really good, uh, the ones that, you know, with Joe Burrow and all of them. But we all know the 2001 Miami Hurricanes team is the best. So it kills me around this time when people who they, their, their podcasts aren't getting a lot of hits, they don't have nothing to talk about, what do they do? What do they do? People who, who's not even associated with the Miami Hurricanes, they just throw out. So-and-so, the 2001 team isn't the best ever. This time, this guy, George Schwester, don't know how to pronounce his name, I do apologize, says the 2001 Oregon team beats Miami in the Rose Bowl. What is this man smoking? And let me tell you, when I, when I said you're being used, I always say this. There is not a more passionate fan base when it comes to Twitter, to social media. We are the number one fan base. So people put out articles about the 2001 Miami team losing because they know we're going to click on it. People put out these tweets because they know people are going go to going to click on it. I have told myself I'm not debating any other team. Maybe the 2000 Miami team versus the 2001 Miami team. But I'm not debating any other team, especially not no damn 2001 Oregon. And I just wanted to let y'all know that's what they do. They He needs clicks. So what does he do? He brings up Miami. Next month, when let's say Alabama wins the national championship and they blow everybody out, people are going to say, is this team just as good as the 2001 Miami? No, stop it. Now, let's take a look because my guy, Ed Reed, he he said, look, maybe you won't tweet at him, Grant, but I will. And he said, look, you should be fired from talking sports. I agree. I've heard George's takes a lot, and he should be. I'm not going to say the man should be fired, but this is a dumb take. The truth hurts. I know y'all think y'all were invincible. They went undefeated. Go ahead and name off all those players that not only went to the NFL, that made a huge impact in the NFL. Uh, yeah, you were damn good, but y'all would have been the greatest team to never win. Listen, this man, he's not even stating any facts, right? He's not even stating any, look, we had Joey Harrington and he would have took advantage of the overaggressive. No, 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 no. He's just going straight off opinion and saying, yes, I got a, I got over a thousand. Um, Ed Reed got some over a thousand quote tweets, which brings people to my page. Yes, he's just eating it up for clicks and impressions. 
Oh, man. Stop it. It took the C virus to happen for you women to get money to get back into college football. Y'all have been, what, what is that? What does, what does that have to do with the 2001 team? When you look at this thread, what does it have to do with the 2001 team? That's how I know he's reaching. He's reaching. And I wanted to see if Ed Reed said something else. I thought my boy Ed went at him and said something else. You know, the Hall of Famer, Ed Reed. You know what I'm saying? He said, bro, what did they do in the league? Oh, because uh, they said that uh, Oregon had 29 NFL players, inc- including first-round picks. Well, the damn near whole 2001 team was first-round picks. Cut it out, George, for the Miami Hurricanes. Y'all had them sprinkled out maybe through the draft. But then Aaron Reed says, bro, what did they do in the league, silly? You got the attention you wanted, but no happy holidays. Look, Ed don't be playing around. But the, but th- that is, But that's why I came over here to make this video. Listen, you're going to see a lot of clicks – a lot of articles in the next coming months about the 2001 Miami Hurricanes team. And the reason they do that is because they know we love to talk about that team. They know that we'll, we love to debate that team. And they know that we'll click that button, which helps them in their growth, which helps get them attention. And at the end of the day, that's all they want. I myself would not be debating anybody who does not think the 2001 Miami Hurricane team was the best ever. Because, look, let's be honest. I mean, look at the wall. Look at the shirt. I'm biased. But I also see football, and if you ask these people during the season, they would say, yes, that team is great. But when the content gets low and they need clicks and they need impressions and they need likes and they need retweets, they'll do anything for that shit. 